pretty much if it swims, we carry it. John Perlman runs Congressional Seafood, a major seafood wholesaler out of Jessup, Maryland. It processes one and a half million pounds of fish a month and makes nearly 250 deliveries every day to restaurants, hotels, and high-end retailers. When we receive fish here, everything is labeled. Once we cut this off the bone, we're required to ship the meat with the tags. Tags that tell Perlman and his customers exactly where the fish came from. But these tags do not make it to the filet in your market or your restaurant plate. So how do you know you get the fish you're paying for? Congressional Seafood has created a new system using a QR code or quick response technology that allows consumers to scan the code with a smartphone and learn the history of the fish. And we've tried to strip it down to the first possible person that pulled this fish out of the water. It will give you the harvest location, the type of gear used to catch the fish, and sometimes even pictures from the fishermen. And this is why it's important. So this is a wild striped bass a wild grouper, a wild golden tile, and a wild flounder. They look very different just out of the water, and the price varies too, from $15 a pound down to $8 a pound. Okay, so now we've taken the meat off of the bone, we've taken the skin off. You tell me which piece of fish goes with which fish. They look, they look right to me. They're not? Yeah, they're not right at all. Okay. What's, what? This is actually the flounder. Oh boy. This one's the rockfish, oh, and that's, that's the tile. <laughs> and that confusion can lead to fish fraud. In fact, a recent study showed one in four fish sold in Washington, D.C. is mislabeled. We've come to find out that there's a lot of guys that are to cheap. Chef Jeff Black owns six restaurants and a fish market in the D.C. metro area. He knows his fish, but agrees a consumer can be duped. When his competitors sell a cheap fish at a fancy price, Black says everyone loses. It, it hurts me because they're, they're undercutting me. So now I want, I want to turn the tables on these guys. I want to make them have to step up. It's like we've had to step up. That's why Black signed on quickly with Congressional Seafood's QR codes. Now his market customers can scan the posted codes to check the fish's pedigree, and his menus offer the same at his restaurants. We take a lot of pride in what we buy and what we sell, and this is just one, one big leap forward to let everybody have the information they need.